Utah Ute Matt Gay to get this one started. And we are underway from Glendale. And no run back here, so they'll bring it out to the 25. First carry for James Conner. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. The Rams and Cardinals, they met three times a season ago. They each won in the other's building in the regular season. The Cardinals 37-20 in week four. And the Rams in week 14 on Monday night would win it 30-23. to And then, of course, they would also meet in the first ever Monday night wild card game, the final game of the first super wild card weekend. And the Rams kicked off their title run with a 34-11 win at SoFi. Murray now on first down. And he finds his tight end. It's Ertz. And now the ball's out. Fumble near midfield. And now the Rams have got it going the other way. So first and 10 now from the 30. Stafford going to give this to Akers. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to Huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. To throw on second and six. Stafford, he's got Higby complete right side. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. That's a great example right there to remind everyone of what a weapon he can be as a mobile quarterback, Charles. Nice play to escape the pocket and get his offense into the red zone with a first down. And defensive coaches losing their mind on that play because they knew about his mobility coming in and they preached all week long. If he gets outside the pocket, Find receivers in your area and cover them. Otherwise, plays like that will continue to result. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. A give up the middle to Akers. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard on the play, so now they need three yards on third down. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through, but that's exactly what... And this is caught. He's got a touchdown, L.A. Van Jefferson. A nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Rams use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. And a touchback as Dorch elects not to return it. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. They had the fumble on the last drive, wound up leading to the opening touchdown. Now they'll try again here, first and ten. It's Connor as they stay on the ground. And he'll get this up just shy of the 30. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Loss. From the gun on third down, Murray. Uh -oh. This one grabbed by A.J. Green. And now off to the races, down the right side. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. And they'll try the option on first and goal. And he will get into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Kyler Murray, a 
three-yard run as he kept it himself. And the Cardinals are an extra point away from evening this one up. Crater for the extra point, and we are tied at seven. The drive summary, four plays, 75 yards. And the play that polished it off was the touchdown run by Kyler Murray. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. And they'll start at the 25 as Powell decides against returning it. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. The offense running out, and they are charged up, ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last drive. And normally I'd warn against getting complacent just because they scored the last time out. But I don't think there's any worries with this group right now. This is a hungry group, and they want to keep building off of their last drive. Now they just want the officials to hurry up and place the ball so they can snap it and get back to work. On first and 10, Stafford. He'll get this complete to Cooper Cup. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. 25 yards there on the catch and run. Oh, that was a nice job there. Quarterback and receiver reading the pressure that was brought. They both knew it was going to open up the middle of the field. Nice little shake and bake in the line of scrimmage. Got right into his route. And the quarterback hit him in stride, and he was able to run free after the catch. It's another first down, as this time they get an even 20. Stafford. That'll be caught by Cup. Touchdown! Matthew Stafford, two touchdown passes in this first quarter. And the Rams have taken the lead. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And that makes the score 14-7. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. And a touchback as Dorch elects not to return it. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. On third down, it's Connor. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. A nice job defensively. And it likely forces a punt situation on fourth. Here's the veteran punter Lee as he sends this one away. A 40-yard punt, give him three on the return, and the Rams will go on offense here for the first and 10. The offense for Los Angeles returns to the field. Well, this offense looks like they have a little extra pep in their step as they take the field here for drive number three, because remember, Charles, drives one and two both ended in the end zone. Yeah, and right now they've just got to be careful not to lean into overconfidence because Every drive has a life of its own. But I like the way that they've started, the way that they're going about doing things right now. They've got a chance for that third consecutive touchdown, and that would be a crushing blow to the defense. Here's a run with Akers on second down. And he'll get about three here as he's out to the 30. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And force the incompletion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback on the expected passing situation. <laughs> Throwing on third down, Stafford. It's caught on the right side by Robinson. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. 
Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Buda Baker with a pick. And the Cardinals are going to have it here as they'll start at their own 24-yard line. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want Murray fighting, lost the football. And now the Rams have got it, going the other way. And the return will stop right around the 25. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. It's complete to Robinson. And he's out of bounds, almost gets to the 10. That's a gain of 13, first down Rams. After four years each in Jacksonville and Chicago, Allen Robinson made a big jump by joining the reigning champs. Hoping to shake off career lows from last season, get back to being a catch machine. Here's a catch for him there and a first down pickup. And the Rams are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. They'll run here with Henderson. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Daryl Henderson taking it in from a yard out. And the Rams go up by two touchdowns. Extra point by Gay is up and good, and it's now 21 to 7. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. And a touchback as Dorch elects not to return it. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. Last time out, they had the fumble. That led to the touchdown. Not a great look on either side of the ball as the defense gave up the points too, Charles. But they've got to take care of the football and do better here on this possession. It's certainly been a tough stretch, partner, for both of those units. And they kind of put their defensive mates in a really tough spot there by dropping the ball on the ground. But an easy way to make it up to them. Get out there now and get some points on this drive. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. A pretty wild first quarter. 21-7, our score. Murray going to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. On fourth down, here's Andy Leon to kick it away. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. Oh, the return is Powell. 45 yards. That's what the punt goes for. Five on the return. And they will take over first and 10. And the L.A. offense ready for this next possession. Well, the football changing hands here as this offense takes a field. Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, they found the end zone for six. And they're certainly hoping for more of the same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense is ready to break out some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in their playbook. They want to use that confidence to its advantage while also keeping the defense from anticipating what's up next. From the shotgun, here's a give to Akers. And he's upended after a gain of four up to the 25-yard line. The passing game's been working quite well so far, but the running game's been a little bit of a struggle. That's a surprise to me. Typically, when you can throw it, you've opened up lanes for your runners. Now on second and 16, Stafford. They'll set up the screen here to Akers. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. And when you have success throwing the football, the old cliche becomes true. The playbook opens up wide. And these screen passes, they become even more difficult to stop. They'll try and run for this with Akers. And some room to maneuver. And strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49. It's a gain of 11 and a first down L.A. Stafford. Steps away to his left. Now he'll let it go on the run. Deep left side. And this is caught inside the five. 
A big play there for L.A. 48 yards. After the big play, a chance to finish now on first and goal. Henderson is going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. Well, nothing fancy there, Charles. You had three tight ends on the field. They were going to run the football. The defense knew it, but the defense couldn't stop them. And I haven't met an offensive line yet that doesn't get more satisfaction out of running the football into the end zone than pass protecting. They had determination on their side, and they got it done. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. And a touchback as Dorch elects not to return it. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. They're down three touchdowns to this point, needing to put something together as they have it first and ten. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Throwing on second and three. Murray caught by the... And now look at this. Big game but a fumble. And now the Rams have got it going the other way. And the return across midfield and to the 46-yard line. They'll run on first down with Akers. And a pretty good burst right there as he'll take this down to the 33. That's a gain of 13 first down Rams. Back to throw, Stafford. And this is, oh my goodness, he pulled it in one-handed. Touchdown, Rams. Van Jefferson, two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Rams are able to widen their lead here in this first half. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And the route is on here in this first half. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. And a touchback as Dorch elects not to return it. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. And a fumble last time. Ball security. Talk about it all the time in the National Football League. They've got to be better at it on this drive. Don't you think that when every team gets together for the first time, I don't care if it's OTAs, mini camps, first and first day of camp in the regular season, ball security comes up about, what, the second sentence of the coach's yeah. address? And those are so many drills focus on that. All the time, and they do drills to make it even tougher to simulate game situations. Doesn't always work out, though. Leonard Floyd, the old Georgia Bulldog, fighting his way into the backfield. To throw, it's Murray. Oh, had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. Well, how about the coverage we just saw break out on third down? Dime defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. We'll call that a 43-yard punt, two on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. Well, everything right now that they touch on this side of the football it seems to turn to gold. They've scored on three straight possessions. That lead continues to grow. And, I mean, if they can get points here, Charles, might almost be an insurmountable comeback for the other side. I think you make a great case for that, so I'm going to flip it over to the other side. Could they make the big comeback? Certainly. Am I expecting it? Not at all. I think if we don't see a drastic change in how they're playing, this blowout's going to get bigger and bigger before the final gun. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Here's Stafford. Buying time to his left. That'll be caught. It's come. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. That one covers 29 yards, first down. 
Let's just call it what it is. This has been a flat-out struggle for this defense all game long. They've really had a hard time slowing them down. And while I'm not big on speeches and guys jumping up and down, they might need their team leader on defense to get in their face right now and light a fire under these guys. They've got to start playing better assignment football and start getting guys on the ground. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. To throw again on second down. Stafford got his man complete over the middle. That's Robinson. Down inside the 10. And so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. It's a gain of 35. And they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. They'll look to run with Henderson. And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. Daryl Henderson on his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And the Rams have taken a five-touchdown lead. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And the route is on here in this first half. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. And a touchback as Dorch elects not to return it. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. The last series form, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better. Oh, Connor loses it. And now the Rams have got it, going the other way. And they will take over at the 26-yard line. The Rams ready to go on offense. Now, these guys hardly got a chance to catch their breath after the quick turnover, but I doubt they're complaining much. Especially with the field position they get to start with. I wouldn't be complaining either. I'd want to get right back out there and get after them because now you have an opportunity to make a big play. I'd say I'd let's be aggressive and go after it. Following the fumble recovery, Stafford. Caught out left side by Robinson. And he's brought down, but not before a gain of 13, down to the 13. First and 10 in the red zone. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. And down inside the 10 here before he's out of bounds, right around the 7. The improv on the scramble there gets him 6, and it'll be second down. They'll go with Akers here up the middle. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Cam Akers taking it in from seven yards away. And the Rams have taken a six-touchdown lead. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And the route is on here in this first half. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. And a touchback as Dorch elects not to return it. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. On first and 10, here's Murray. Hurts over the middle. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Throwing again on second down. Murray, flush to his right. He'll dump this one off to Connor. Seven yards there and a first down. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. Throwing on first down is Murray. And this will be swung out here for Connor. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. Meanwhile, Murray's throw here complete into the hands of Ertz. 
The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. Here's Murray from midfield to Connor on the check down. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. So third down and defensively the Rams have added two extra DBs. Here's Murray. That's complete to his running back Connor. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle is going to be made at the Rams 37. A good gain of 14 there and it moves the chains. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. That pass complete to Moore. Touchdown, Cardinals! Rondell Moore as the first half is winding down. And the Cardinals are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. Extra point good by Prater. And they get a bit of a respite here from what's been an otherwise dreadful first half of football. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. Set to go again, here's Cam Akers in the L.A. offense. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter, been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10 from the gun. Here's Stafford. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. The final shot before the break, Stafford. So we've come to halftime. It's the visiting Rams taking the lead to the break. As we send you on out to our studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. This one, maybe not the hard-fought battle many had hoped for. This has been blowout city thus far, but still more football to be played. Who knows what could happen? As we send you right back out to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Rams going to get the football first here, and they look to build on their lead as the second half gets started. And they'll start at the 25 as Powell decides against returning it. The Rams offense ready to begin quarter number three. Stafford and the Rams come up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Now a play fake it at Stafford. Eluding the pressure right. Going up top for Cup. A fight for it, and this is caught. What a catch. A big play there for L.A. 49 yards. It doesn't look like this defense found the magic elixir at halftime. This offense was rolling in the first half, and that's continued here in the third quarter. Another big play right there. Stafford on first down. That's complete to his tight end, Higby. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Stafford's throw pulled in by Jefferson. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. 55 rushing yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. And he gets halfway there from the four to the two on a gain of two. 
Well, Brandon, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you, you want two. <laughs> you're without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one, but was denied as he tried to get the second one. From the two now, second and goal. Now Stafford. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. But Brandon, we see why it's a team game there because there's a sigh of relief that they just released defensively. If he's able to get that one away, that's likely a touchdown. But instead, that pressure from the front got to him and forced the incompletion. You're right, he had him open just a split second too late on the release. Now Stafford on third and goal. He's got it. It's Higby. Touchdown Rams. Fourth touchdown pass of the game for Matthew Stafford. And the Rams take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Extra point by Gay. The lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. And a touchback as Dorch elects not to return it. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. get him down but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line that's a good way to start the drive 17 yards and a first down for a second there you look down on the field I almost thought I saw Kyler Murray in an Oklahoma jersey <laughs> the colors are similar though right yeah he is not just quick because he's every bit of that he truly is fast. He's as fast as the fastest players in the NFL. And when he puts it all together and makes the proper read, you can see the defense's eyes grow wide because now they've got to deal with him downfield. He's hard to get down. Over the middle complete. That's more. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. Murray to throw on third and one. Again, he finds more. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams' 34-yard line. 15 yards that time, and the Cardinals move the chains. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. On the draw, Connor. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. This defense just continues to bottle up that ground game. And look, I mean, the deficit right now for this offense is so big that it might not matter. But you're still in the third quarter. They're probably going to have to try things through the air, Charles. I agree with you totally. That's what they'll have to do. They do need to run it occasionally to take a few hits off the quarterback because right now, you just know those pass rushers are fired up to get after him. <laughs> They'll try and pick it up by running the option to the right. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. That winds up being a four-yard loss and leads to fourth down. And the 38-year-old vet able to split the uprights. And they'll get back three, but this remains a large deficit. Kind of surprised by that, that they kicked the field goal. I guess you get some points, but this deficit third quarter, I don't know. Yeah, I don't either. Yeah, I'm with you on that one. When you're down that much, kicking a field goal, does it feel a little bit maybe waving the white waving flag the and just, just want to get that. out of here? Yeah, I, I think you got to go ahead and try and get some bigger points on the board. Stafford and the Rams come up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Stafford now to throw. Flushed out right. And he's got this to Jefferson. And they work this well upfield across the 45. And a nice gain of 21 yards. 
I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up, not that time. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. They'll run out of the gun with Akers. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? From the gun on third down, Stafford. And able to find Higby, it's complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 27-yard line. Here's Stafford. Gets this into the hands of the tight end, Higby. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. From the red zone now, Stafford. Now he's got it. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Just picking up yardage in bunches here. These last few plays, they have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. Stafford. He's got it. It's Higby. Touchdown Rams. Matthew Stafford does it again. Five touchdown passes. And the Rams will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. And a touchback as Dorch elects not to return it. The Cardinal offense takes back over. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable now. A win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles. But I, I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto until the clock runs out. But Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. This is an outlier. You don't get many blowouts like this no matter how the game looks on paper going in. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare realized. Forced out to his left. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Nowhere to go downfield, but he's able to get out of bounds and stop the clock here with a first down. From the gun, Murray. He'll get just a yard on the scramble in second down. Throwing now is Murray. And he finds his tight end. It's Ertz. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. And they call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. Out of the gun. Here's Murray. It's Williams on the catch. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. 
Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran it a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line, but once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. Yeah, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. Murray now. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. Again, they'll throw with Murray. And that almost their first INT of the ball game. Had his sights on it, but he couldn't seal the deal. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. Murray now to throw. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Five yards that time out of the scramble. But now they're looking at a fourth down situation. Crater's kick is good. And they'll get back three, but this remains a large deficit. Well, in the grand scheme of things, those three points likely not going to matter much, but I guess they get a little closer, a little more respectability. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been outplayed all game long, but like my mom used to tell me all the time before I went out, dress up a little bit, son. Make yourself respectable. And that's what they're doing here. They're just dressing up the final score. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And they've got to be feeling very comfortable and confident here with this lead in the football here in the fourth quarter, Charles. And I don't think that they need to score again, but it seems like this offense is just getting better as the game goes on. They've scored on their last two drives. Certainly feels like a chance for them to continue to have some fun out there, doesn't it? Game's already decided, as you noted. So they can continue to play loose, break out some other concepts, maybe run a few trick plays, get other people involved. Heck, even go deep on one of these first snaps just because they can. J.J. Watt the one that gets him down. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Stafford completes it to Robinson. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 27 yards there, a first down. Tell you what, partner, the way he's been slinging it in this one, I think he should be ticketed for a baseball cap and a set of headphones for the next drive. He's been absolutely sensational. But one thing we both learned about quarterbacks in this league, they often stay on the field longer than you expect. This one hauled in, and again, it's Robinson. Touchdown! Allen Robinson, 26 yards. And the Rams continue to run up the score. They lead it big here in the fourth. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. And a touchback as Dorch elects not to return it. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things. And now a fumble. The ball's out. And now the Rams have got it going the other way. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. On the handoff, it's Akers. 93 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. 
And just good downhill running there as he'll take this to the 15-yard line. You need your wide receivers as blockers. Sometimes they get a hold. The big runs are often a result of what they do on the perimeter. In this case, got caught holding, and this one will come back. Well, about three yards there to the 27. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game, and while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. The Rams on third down. No problems to this point. A perfect five for five. This is third and 11. Now it's Stafford. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. And Gay knocks this one through. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach clicked him off in your headset so you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. But we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And, partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. Eighth catch for him now. He's been a big factor. And it's a first down. Murray going to throw. Got a man. It's Brown. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Cardinals, they've got the football here as we get you reset. A good gain on first. Has them set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Escaping the pressure. Murray has it knocked loose. Fumble. And now the Rams have got it. Going the other way. And with that kind of a deficit, you can't afford to make any kind of mistakes. But it's been pretty symptomatic of what we've seen all game with them, isn't it? Down, say, down this big in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you'd quarter. say an afternoon to forget. Absolutely. <laughs> on the give, this is Akers. And he'll manage to pick up a belt. It'd be hard to say that a defense wouldn't be ready for a first down run. And when you can gain that kind of yardage against a defense that's really kind of geared to stop that play, your confidence has to rise. And now you've actually opened up your playbook. If you want to throw the ball now for play action, you're good to go. And a good looking run there as he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18 yard line. 113 yards rushing for Akers, and this is a first down. Take a knee here. 